Hi, this is an introduction video of the 2020 Hong Kong Entrepreneurship Study. My name is Irene Chu, partner at KPMG. First, let me give you the background of the Hong Kong Entrepreneur Study and how it came about. Hong Kong's own history reviews a strong tradition of entrepreneurship. From a textile manufacturing and export hub in the 1950s, to a services-based economy from the 1970s. This has defined modern Hong Kong, which is supported by the four pillars of industries, being tourism, professional and producer services, financial services, as well as trade and logistics. The city is also recognized as the premium gateway to mainland China. However, the dominance of these core competitive industry is no guarantee of its future success, in particular with the emergence of new economy. Therefore, we think that Hong Kong needs to be well prepared and embrace the global disrupted trends in order to maintain its competitiveness. We believe that a dynamic entrepreneurial landscape could help drive innovation and diversify Hong Kong's economy in order to maintain its long-term competitiveness. Recognizing the importance of entrepreneurship to drive innovation, the Hong Kong government has set forth policies and funding to further support entrepreneurship in Hong Kong. For instance, $13 billion has been set aside to invest and grow the four focus sectors, being biotech, AI, smart city, and fintech. 2.4 billion was injected into the Research Endowment Fund to support foundational research at university. $1.2 billion was injected into the Innovation and Technology Fund to support applied research and development. This is the reason why KPMG and Alibaba Entrepreneurs Fund came together in 2018 to understand better the challenges and the views of entrepreneurs and students in Hong Kong. We asked them what they think of the current and future landscape of Hong Kong's ecosystem. We also want to learn the challenges that they face, the impact of entrepreneurship on Hong Kong's economy and society. With those comments, we hope to find areas what more can be done to drive entrepreneurship and innovation in Hong Kong. Now on to the study framework and content. Our study of the entrepreneurial system in Hong Kong contain a few components. First, we have surveys that was designed to collect views from business founders and university students. We also interview key opinion leaders who include prominent business owners, scientists, academics, investors, and public sector figures. We also analyze the private and public sector funding and investment that have gone into Hong Kong-based startups. To the four key sectors that have been identified that could drive Hong Kong innovation and technologies, we also look at how they have developed over the years, mainly AI, fintech, biotech, and smart city. Based on those views and findings from the survey, then we come up with some suggestions and recommendations to encourage different stakeholders to jointly address those gaps in the ecosystem. Here is some of the key opinion leaders who participated in our study in the past. In the 2019 study, we've also developed an entrepreneurial efficacy framework. We believe that a vibrant entrepreneurial ecosystem requires a balance between purpose and capabilities. Innovative ideas can only be commercialized under the right environment and with the necessary support. This is what we describe as capability. An ecosystem with strong capabilities also require individuals with a strong purpose. Without that, the ecosystem will struggle to sustain innovation and drive the economy forward. The kind of factors that would contribute to purpose would include financial ambition of the entrepreneurs, the skills the entrepreneurs has. And then when it comes to capability, we will look at the regulatory environment 
such as access to capital. Both of these aspects are important as we decide whether Hong Kong has a vibrant entrepreneurial ecosystem. Let me give you a quick snapshot of 2019's findings. So based on the entrepreneurial efficacy framework I just described, in the 2019 results, we have plotted the Entrepreneurship Development Index. The index tracks the current perceptions of entrepreneurs and students for both purpose and capabilities. Using these measures, it estimates Hong Kong's current position as well as future direction on the journey towards a vibrant startup ecosystem. In the 2019 study, we found that both entrepreneurs and students believe purpose and capability factors will improve in the future, leading towards a more vibrant ecosystem in Hong Kong. And our index suggests that Hong Kong has an opportunity to significantly improve its entrepreneurial ecosystem by focusing on a few areas. And I will share that in the next slide. Based on the survey findings, some of the encouraging signs include over 70% of the respondents agree that Hong Kong has a dynamic and vibrant startup ecosystem. 66% believe that there are sufficient success stories and role models in Hong Kong. More than half of the respondents believe that Hong Kong startup can attract the right talent. However, there are gaps and challenges. Only 38% of the mature stage startup believe that their companies and Hong Kong startup are making a difference to China's economy. 21% believe they have family support to be entrepreneur. And only 38% agree that there is sufficient support to drive STEAM development in Hong Kong. Also in last year's study, we've looked at the venture investment data. As you can see from the chart on the left-hand side, the investment that has gone into Hong Kong-based startup have been growing steadily, with a big portion of the funding coming from the government. We can also see that the investment that have gone into the key sectors over the past three years. In 2019, when we launched the report, there was a lot of positive response from the media and the public. Here's some of the snapshot. Since we launched the report, there was a lot of public awareness about Hong Kong's ecosystem for entrepreneurs. We've also spoken with the business community about the importance of entrepreneurship. So looking forward about our 2020 study, we will continue with the approach by sending surveys to students and entrepreneurs. But what's new in this year is that we will also invite corporate executives to also fill out the survey. And we want to hear their views what they think of entrepreneurship and also their involvement in driving innovation in Hong Kong. We will continue our interviews with key opinion leaders in different parts of the society. We will continue to track the Hong Kong Entrepreneurship Development Index. We will also look at investment data as well as the four innovation technology focus areas. Given the pandemic that we've all experienced this year, we will add a section covering the contribution of some of the Hong Kong startup made to the society during COVID-19. This will also highlight the societal impacts of entrepreneurship. With all these findings, we're hoping to come up with some suggestions that can improve and address those gaps. I hope by now you got a good understanding what the study is about. We need your support. Please participate in our survey or reach out to your networks who are corporates or startup or students. If you have any suggestions or ideas, please feel free to reach out to us. Here you can find the link to the survey website by scanning the QR code on the left hand side. You can also reach us by scanning the QR code on the right hand side. Thank you for watching this video.